Okay, so now we're on to part three of my nail polish collection video. And actually, collective haul video, I should say. So this is a haul from Trans Design Nail Polish. I bought these a while back again. I haven't even taken them out of the box yet because I wanted to show you guys how they came packaged. But then again, I just realized I took out the packing peanuts that were in there. Anyway, so I ordered for them a while back and everything came super fast. I think they shipped it two days after I ordered. And that's because I ordered like late at night um, into the wee hours of the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. Um, they always send their nail polishes in these little boxes. And if you open them, they actually did have packing peanuts in there. Um, but like I said, I took them out and I didn't even think to repackage them the same way. So I'm going to go through those colors. This first box has a bunch of color club. This first one is called... I can never pronounce this word. Elias? Alias? Whatever, you can see it there. Um, and this is a gorgeous duochrome purple, green, sparkly. The works. Like, this is a very awesome color. I am so excited to wear this in the fall time because it kind of reminds me of, like, leaves changing, even though leaves aren't really purple, but you get the idea. <laughs> so there's that one. This next one is called Ulterior Motive. And it is a purple with blue and purple shimmers to it. It almost has a blue duochrome right there, if you can see. So that's pretty neat. It looked really nice when I saw like different swatches of it online. So I thought I'd pick that one up. This next one, oh, I can't even tell you what collections these are from. I don't follow Color Club too much, but I really should because these are actually really nice polishes. This one is Fashion Addict, and I just love the name. And the color is amazing. It's like a pinky purple with some holographic glitter. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. Uh, I can't tell if you can tell from the camera. But it does have holographic glitter in it. It's a very fine micro shimmer. The, the glitter particles are very fine in this polish. So there's that one. This next one is called Wink Wink Twinkle. And it is a bright purple with a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of glitter. Look at that right there. It needs to be shaken up. But I thought this was awesome to have um, for the summertime, and I didn't even get to wear it this summer. But it's still very pretty. So the next box I have here, I'll go ahead and open that. And these are like some fun, funky neon colors and some glittery colors. We'll start with this one. Again, these are Color Club. And this one is the Lime Starts Here. And it's exactly what it says. It's a lime green color. And for some reason, neons make my camera a little wonky. <laughs> but it is a neon lime green. And kind of similar to that one is Glitter Envy. And again, it's a lime green with glitters. It's in the same um, collection as the Wink Wink Twinkle. And here it is with the Lime Starts here. It is a shade or two darker than the Lime Starts here. Um, but it's still in that kind of neonish family. This next one, again, is in the same collection as this one and this one. This is called Ultra... I can't even pronounce that one. Astral? Ultra Astral? That doesn't sound right, but oh well. And it's a neon pink with the same kind of glitters. This color here is called Revolution, and it has three V's. Revolution. <laughs> um, this is supposed to, it's like a cobalt color, like almost a, I can't even, I don't know how to pronounce, like say this. It's like a cobalt gray um, with duochromes, and this is supposed to be almost like a dupe of My Private Jet. Don't quote me, I don't own the, duo, the holographic My Private Jet, um, but... A lot of swatches say that it reminds people of that. And it does have that holographic. I don't know if I said duochrome earlier, but I meant holographic. But you can barely see it. I don't know. This next one is called Magic Attraction. And all this is... Focus camera. Please. Please. There. And all it is is holographic glitter. Now this you can see. Um, but it's all like scattered holographic, but it's still real pretty. And the next one I have is Worth the Risk, or Risque, whatever again. 
Um, and this is a silver, and it's supposed to be like holographic, but I can't really tell. Even in the swatch, you can't really tell. Anyways, I got some of the, the, most of these holographic polishes because I missed out on the OMG China Glaze collection and the Tronica collection from China Glaze. So these are like my replacements. A few more nail polishes to, to go through. Some of these are China Glaze. I think actually the majority of them are China Glaze. So these are in pack of three. This one is called Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. It's by China Glaze. And this is a highlighter yellow. Real pretty. This one is Papaya Punch. And this is from their summer collection, I believe. It's just like a papaya orange color. And this one is Fairy Dust. And this is, again, just a duo... I keep saying duochrome. It's a holographic glitter. So compared to Magic Attraction, that's what it looks like. Magic Attraction kind of has a pink base to it, and Fairy Dust has a silver base. And the last little box I have is this color here. This is called Ahoy. And this is from... Come on, focus. This is from the Summer Collection. I forget what it's called from China Glaze, but it's a gorgeous pink with some like red and gold duochrome. Now this one's duochrome, not holographic. Uh -huh. So there's that. And the last China Glaze I got, this is from the new fall collection, the Metro collection. Um, Trans Design is awesome at having these in stock and having them before the collections even come out. This is CG in the City, or China Glaze in the City. And this is a purple silver glitter. It is so pretty. This one I cannot wait to wear for fall as an accent nail. The big grease. And this last one, this is from Amore. And this is supposed to be like a color changing color. You're supposed to put it like on a like on a black nail, like a black tip. And it'll, it's supposed to change different colors. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't even know. This is the satin pink. And it's just a very sheer pinky color with some more pink uh, duochrome to it. So that is all from my Trans Design nail polish haul. And these are all the colors I got from Trans Design. I started to tell you about the shipping. I had never even finished, I don't think. Um, they, they shipped it out two days after I had placed the order. And I received it in about a week or less. I would say five to seven days. So shipping was super fast. Everything came perfectly wrapped. Nothing was broken. Trans Design is one of my favorite e-tailers. I think I've only ordered from them. I've never had a problem with them. Shipping was a little more on the pricey side. It was like $10, but I ordered so much nail polish that I wouldn't expect it to be anything under. Um, and then with it being so super fast and everything came packaged really well, I mean, I was willing to, to pay the $10 shipping. But that's everything I got from them. Quite a haul from there. So if you haven't checked them out before, I will put a link down below. I'm not being sponsored by Trans Design. It's just a, a very good e-tailer that I highly recommend to people because not only do you get um, like well-packaged products that come to you that are not broken, but they also have great prices on polishes. I believe Color Clubs are like $2.99 and China Glazes are around the same price, $2.99 each. Um, you get a great price for for what you're paying for. You can find colors on there from past collections that they still have. Uh, you can find colors that are in a collection that haven't even been released yet. And you know you can be one of the, the few people that have them first. So they're just a great company to order from. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video.